right very first we would try to understand what is there in a microwave bench setup in a microwave bench setup we have different microwave components connected one to other in the form of a microwave train a series of components the first and foremost component is klystron power supply we have klystron power supply in klystron power supply we have to keep this modulation in am mode and here we have meter selector this meter selection is to identify the current the voltage and the rippler voltage the beam current beam voltage and the rippler voltages can be noticed by selecting this uh, knob and noticing the value in this meter now as soon as you switch on the klystron power supply you have to switch on this heater switch heater switch then once if you have if you switch on the heater switch then only you have to proceed further in reflex klystron power supply you will be having knobs like beam voltage knob rippler voltage knob selecting the frequency either it is in amplitude mode modulation or in frequency modulation their amplitude and their frequencies can be identified then as per our microwave laboratory we have to keep in am mode am mode and you can give some amplitude some frequency in order to generate a square wave at the output side now this klystron power supply is connected to klystron mount this is our klystron mount from klystron mount it is connected to isolator at klystron mount cooling fan is there in order acts like a heater sink uh, heat sink now uh, after isolator it is connected to frequency meter from frequency meter it is connected to variable alternator from variable alternator it is connected to slot and line section and from slot and line section it is connected to detector mount through a probe connecting probe vnc cable we will verify the output at cro as a perfect square wave once we get a perfect square wave in cro it means that the microwave bench is perfectly tuned the microwave bench is perfectly tuned now in order to tune the microwave bench first and foremost thing what you have to do is give some amplitude give some frequency select a modulation give some amplitude give some frequency then by adjusting rippler voltages by adjusting rippler voltages and beam car beam voltages you can beam beam voltage you can verify the perfect square wave once you get a perfect square wave it means that the microwave bench is perfectly tuned then you have to do take down the observations the microwave bench is tuned at beam voltage take down beam voltages 241 volts here keep in mind beam voltage should not increase 300 volt beyond 300 volts and beam current is 19 milliamperes here the limitation is beam current should not increase beyond 20 milliamperes and take down the rippler voltage rippler voltage is minus minus 21 volts okay then the other observation what we have to take down is frequency meter through frequency meter we have to calculate what is the operating frequency to find the operating frequency what we have to do is rotate the frequency meter slowly so that as you rotate slowly in the output section at cro you will notice a sudden dip or fall in the amplitude of the square wave it means that at that particular point the microwave bench setup is tuned okay that is the frequency of operation see as i am rotating here in cro you can notice a sudden fall a dip in the square wave yeah see notice here in the cro you can notice that there is a sudden fall in the amplitude of the wave at that location now identify or calculate what is the now calculate what is the frequency of operation see in frequency meter you have two horizontal red lines one vertical red line now on the horizontal lines you have different frequency values now this vertical red line will coincide with any one of the frequency readings to which frequency 
this vertical line is coincidented that is our frequency of operation now as shown in this particular point this is 9.6 this is 9.62 this is 9.64 this red vertical red line is coincidented at this particular point 9.635 frequency so the frequency of operation is 9.635 this is how we have to tune the bench for any experiment the first and foremost step is we have to tune the microwave bench setup to do to tune the microwave bench setup this is the method okay done